everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just want to go over the uh, last few days of the trading bot. I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering. I've been on uh, vacation out of town going into the remote parts of northern Ontario. Now have a solid, stable internet connection. So what was the result? Well, I did my best to run everything as is between these time periods of August 15th to yesterday, August 20th, of uh, things, not a very stable connection where I was, basically over three places, P could be a hotel, could be remote, outpost one night, uh, cottages, the whole nine yards. You can see here it's had a major st stability which has hindered the performance of the bot overall with with some very bad losses so I don't even really consider that but everything's back to normal here on the 21st 10 positions taken four winners very good return so far percent of change since midnight um, win ratio is not the best but that's okay At the end of the day it's this that matters the percent change of all the capital deployed so 1.66 is good Here's where things are right now in the markets. Uh, let's see here. As you know, I do track the five large ones, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum. Generate a, a uh, weighted average of those. That brings us to negative 0.87. So that's pretty, like, that's, in my mind, very good performance for today. As I said, I don't really count these uh, from the 15th to the 20th yesterday, but this one I'll take of 1.66 for sure. So let's take a look at uh, what those uh, positions were, and we're going to look at the charts themselves to see what they reveal. So here's what's been traded uh, today. So we have here VET. Okay, that was a loss. We have MADIC. Nothing's done. IOTA, loss. KNC, which had a return, 0.46. There's another one that did well, Adam USDT. Remember, everything's in USDT, 0.93, so it's almost a full percent. Matic had another loss. Rep, this has been doing fairly well as well, at, um, at uh, 0.74. Percent KNC, another one, 0.85, and Adam again with a negative return. So let's check those bunch out. So here we are in uh, in uh, MotoWave, and uh, this is I'm going to look at just keep my eyes on the hourly chart here. So let's go to the first one. So VET usually has done well before, but curiously, let's see how it's been trading. So as I said, everything's in USDT or Tether. So it's been very flat. Now, if you look at the one day chart earlier in the summer, these massive jump ups, and then it's just gone kind of haywire, basically going nowhere with uh, sideways since around peaking at July 8th. So June was a good month to be in VET. Secondly, we have uh, Matic. I'm not really a big fan of this. Uh, I don't really get a lot of performance out of it, but I'll show you that anyways. So here's the one day. So it had a nice run up between July 31st to uh, roughly August 15th. So it did do well just before I left. You can see how it's been just not doing too good there more recently. IOTA is another one I question. Um, actually, let me take a look at the hourly chart for the Matic here. You can see here the sudden run up, probably why that got traded. Next one is IOTA. Let's see how this one's been doing. Nice run up again. Probably up. Okay, that's an hourly chart. So this has done fairly well, but steep decline later uh, in the day. Actually, yeah, it started here around midnight, yeah, 23 o'clock last night. And that's when it peaked, and it's been downhill since. 
Okay, let's look at KMC USDT. This has done well. So again, hourly, really big solid bar up there. Um, so we're looking at 23 o'clock and it's gone back down and started uh, flatlining in around 9 a.m. or so. Uh, daily, this one's done fairly well. It's had a nice choppy ride up up until here, August 16 has dropped back down and gone kind of sideways. One of the coins that I just find too, too um, choppy. Adam, I checked last week before I left. This one's done well. Let's see how it's been doing since. This might be a new, bigger coin that's been doing fairly well. Looks like that is not the case. So here, August, yesterday did quite well. Wow, look at those big moves, but come, has come back down. So between August 20th, 6 a.m., all the way riding up to um, 20, 20 o'clock, which is what, 4 or uh, 10 p.m., and ever since it's come back down. So there's some decent performance there uh, since last night. Matic we've already looked at. Rep is another good one, or has been. Let me just see how that one's been performing lately. Look at that big rise. Wow, that's big. So that's been a solid since yesterday at uh, close of uh, 1975, all the way up to $24 in the last day or so. So that has done extremely well. Um, so that's clearly a good winner there. KNC, did we look at? Nope. So KNC, USDT. Again, same pattern as before. Um, nice write up. This one's not as much, starting at uh, uh, 156, 2, 2, 2 a.m. till about, uh, looks like 23 o'clock, 11 p.m. and has come back down and, and gone into a flat line mode as well. So there's not been a lot of trading opportunities here all day today. And the last one was at uh, 9.41 this morning. Um, let me just see that one. 9.41, so we're looking at, uh, let's see here, 9, right around here, so probably this wick here moved up, and uh, actually that was a losing one, if I remember, yeah, that's a losing one, so we have a, a way to fix these to prevent these losses by looking at previous candles as well, so there you go. That's what's currently been traded all day today. Um, keep your eyes out uh, if you're one of the members of the uh, analytics. Of course, what I'm referring to here is, well, let's put it this way. If you're just remotely interested in what I do, just come over to quantlabs.net. In there, you'll find uh, a way to sign up, get some free books, get into the ecosystem, get on our uh, list. Uh, we will be putting out again our USB keys coming in hopefully this week. Uh, very limited supply, so if you want one, you have to let me know. I'll be doing another batch depending upon how they do uh, for the first batch, but we'll see from there. Also, with all these services that I have now, the Quant Analytics, if you go to uh, quantlabs.net slash quant analytics, as you can see here, uh, this will take you... Oh, Quant analytics. I'm not going to futz around here. Analytics. Hopefully, I'll do something about. Oh, this would ha help. Yes. Okay. My apologies there. Quantlabs.net slash quant analytics uh, will take you to where to sign up. It's 67 bucks a month, which is pretty cheap. So I'm going deep with the CFDs and Forex. I just posted one today. And um, looks like there's some good uh, opportunities in that as well. So if you want to take advantage of that, please uh, sign up. We shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day. And uh, over and out.
Thanks for watching as well.